What happened in the Los Angeles City Council is probably the most clear-cut example of why so many don't like terms like people of color. In case you didn't hear, top political leaders in LA, including the very powerful president of the city council, were exposed for using a series of racial slurs in a leaked audio recording about city politics and redistricting. And all four of the people recorded identify as Latinos. But after being caught, the now former president of the city council, Neri Martinez, said the conversation was about concerns over the impact redistricting would have on communities of color. But that's not true, and to help us understand why, we need to employ a very, very important tool for conversations like this called disaggregation. Disaggregation is when you break down a large group into more specific categories to examine them more closely. Like Martinez said she was trying to help communities of color, but if we disaggregate that into ethnic groups like Latinos and Black Americans, we see the truth. The truth is that her and her allies were trying to consolidate Latino political power, which might have not been an issue if not for their strategy of doing it by unfairly diluting Black voting power and working off of a problematic zero-sum mindset between the two groups. This is best portrayed by her infamous quote about another politician saying, F him, he's with the Blacks. In addition to this, her colleague Ron Herrera used the metaphor of a beatdown to discuss how they would undermine black political power by saying, it's real simple, right? You got 100 people, 52 of them are Mexicano, I feel pretty good about my chances of beating your ass. And as a quick aside, we know that Ron Herrera was the former president of the LA Federation of Labor, and we know that employers in LA have had their own issues with systemic anti-blackness, so his role would have been to go into these situations and build cross-racial coalitions and not role model this anti-blackness himself. But before I go, let's disaggregate even a bit further. If we break down the ethnic group Latinos into further subgroups, we see that Afro-Latinos were also affected by her anti-black statement, and indigenous Latinos were stereotyped when she referred to Oaxacans as little, short, dark people and called them ugly. Unfortunately, in many instances, using terms that flatten racial and ethnic groups covers up things like anti-blackness, anti-indigeneity, and other forms of systemic discrimination that create disparities in our lived experiences. To illustrate with one last example, Martina says in her official resignation that she hopes that she inspired little Latina girls to dream beyond that which you can see. But as this tweet points out with a bit of disaggregation, we know the Latina girls she's talking to and it ain't the indigenous or the Afro-Latina ones. If you learned something new, comment your thoughts, share this video, and follow for more.